In trigonometry, it's important you know how to rationalize fractions. And rationalizing fraction is basically getting rid of your radical in your denominator. So I have two examples. I have 3 over square root of 3 and 2 over square root of 5, and we're going to rationalize them. For the first fraction, to rationalize 3 over square root of 3, we multiply the denominator and the numerator by square root of 3 with the goal, of course, of getting rid of the radical in your denominator. So 3 times square root of 3 is 3 square root of 3, and square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Now we know that square root of 9 is simply 3, and by simplifying the fraction, we can get rid of 3 right here, and we'll end up with square root of 3. So not only that the radical is no longer in your denominator, we also simplified the fraction. So 3 over square root of 3, after rationalizing, is now square root of 3. And for example number 2, we have 2 over square root of 5, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by the square root of 5. And we'll have the square root of 25. And square root of 25 is 5. Since we cannot simplify the fraction anymore, 2 over square root of 5 is simply 2 square root of 5 over 5. The denominator doesn't have the radical uh, symbol anymore, so we're able to rationalize the fraction. Now in right triangle trigonometry, I will introduce a new set of formula in uh, solving or analyzing uh, the sides of a triangle or a right triangle. So the first step that you need to understand before we can use this formula is the parts of the right triangle. So we have here the right triangle and we have the reference angle in this corner of your triangle and it's important that you can identify the reference angle because the opposite side and the adjacent side is dependent on where the reference angle is. So we know that the uh, longest side of a triangle is the hypotenuse and the side opposite to the angle or the given angle will be your opposite side and the side right next to the given angle will be your adjacent side. So those are the parts of the right triangle that you need to understand before we can use the set of formula. So we have here the second triangle and the given angle is now changed from this corner right up here to this corner. So obviously our adjacent side and opposite side was interchanged and hypotenuse will still be on the same side. So adjacent side will be right next to the angle and this opposite side at the bottom or the base of a triangle is now your opposite side. Now the six trigonometric ratio, we have here the formula or the set of formula that you need to know in trig. And this is one of the most popular formula in trigonometry. So for sine angle, the formula using the right triangle trigonometry will be the opposite side over hypotenuse. And cosine will be adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent over the hypotenuse side. And the tangent angle is determined by opposite over adjacent. And we call this so ka toa And this mnemonic device is really helpful in remembering this um, formula because we are going to use this in solving some right triangle problem using trigonometry. Now, if we have our sine, cosine, and tangent, it has its inverses. And the inverses of each of this trig function will be cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Cosecant is the inverse of sine, therefore the value of cosecant is just the reciprocal of your sine. So your cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. And the inverse of cosine is sec secant, that's why we have hypotenuse over adjacent as our formula. And for cotangent, which is the inverse of tangent, we have adjacent over opposite. And we also have a mnemonic device for the inverses of your trig ratio. We can call it as jaw chacal so cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite, secant is hypotenuse over adjacent, and cotangent is adjacent over opposite. So let's find the six trig ratio of the given angle. So given the right triangle, the sides or the side length of the triangle is also given. So the hypotenuse is five, the opposite side from the given angle will be 4, and the adjacent side from this given angle is 3. So we are going to use the um, 
formula for the six trig ratio to find the complete set of the trig ratio that we are looking for. So for sine theta, the formula for finding sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So by just looking at your triangle, you'll be able to find the ratio for sine theta, and that is 4 over 5. 4 is the opposite, and 5 is your hypotenuse. And for cosine theta, the formula is adjacent over hypotenuse, so you have 3 over 5. And for tangent theta, it's opposite over adjacent, so we have 4 over 3. So these are the three trig um, ratio for our tr right triangle given the formula. And its inverses, we have cosecant, secant, and cotangent. All you have to do is to find or to get the reciprocal of each of the, each of the trig function to find its inverses. So for cosecant theta, the reciprocal of 4 over 5 is 5 over 4. And for secant theta, we have 5 over 3. And for cotangent theta, we have 3 over 4. And these are the six trig function of our triangle using our formula.